We're currently in London, Houston Station of all places, and we're actually en route to Manchester, the city of Manchester and also Manchester University because of why, Charles? We're going to do a presentation to all the students there on what's currently going down in blockchain, what they need to know. Just having some really great relationships with all the blockchain societies in the UK, our home turf, our advantage home core territory and also really just getting out and seeing what's going on in the universities and their level of understanding and what type of protocols they're looking at and what devs are, are really actually building. Right. Of course, we're going here to talk about our view, but also really to explain our story yep. and to give our vision with regards to the EOSIO protocol. So usually a lot of uh, interesting things get thrown up out of these things, right? Yeah, so. the Q&A is the most value add part and it's the part that we look forward to the most. Okay. So uh, let's go. First of all, I uh, really appreciate your time and attention this evening. Um, we're really here to give you value in each and every way that we can. Um, it's really been at the ethos, but what we do is to give forward, uh, build a community, help with education. And it's amazing just how much positive stuff has actually come back when you actually deploy that, that type of uh, approach to the space. Uh, we realize we're really, really, really early. Like, what we've seen so far with regards to cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, it's not even the tip of the iceberg to where we'll be. Like opportunity like you've never seen before. Like technology never goes back. Like it never goes back. Look, we walk around with these things, okay? You're used to that now, right? Do you know there was a time when someone left the house that they would have a box which was the size of a bag and another box which had a phone on it and they would walk around with two boxes. It was a mobile phone. That's what it comes to and it will continue to develop. Like it's not going to stop here. It never does. And when you see the lack of knowledge that we see here, we see the same thing across blockchain. In fact, I had just recently looked at a, a Jeff, Jeff Bezos uh, interview. Um, he raised the first million dollars for Amazon um, when the implied valuation was five million. He did that with 60 investors and each of the investment meetings started with each of those investors asking, what is this thing called the internet anyway? There'll be numerous different operating systems in the future. There'll be numerous different protocols in the future and those protocols have only really started. The, the plumbing and the piping is now being laid for what will become a decentralized future, right? Whereby people will own their own data, um, where there will be uh, non-fungible tokens for gaming, uh, where there'll be land rights, fractional ownership, um, where there'll be medical records, everything will be on, on the block. And in order for that to happen, well, you need to have the infrastructure built. And then of course you need to have adoption and then you need to have the needs. Big revolution in the 1970s with PC and hardware, you all remember that. Of course, in the 90s we had the internet and now we have blockchain. So technology never goes backwards. What you're gonna to start to see then is companies that are valued with the likes of the market caps that you exist today in the hundreds of billions of dollars. So for me, it's about staying sharp, seeing the tech, look what's being solved. And by the way, all the smartest people that I know that worked at Google, Facebook, all the smartest people that I know that were on the institutional side working for Goldman's or Merrill's, Fidelity or BlackRock, yeah. they have all come into this community. Everybody is there to help everybody else because we know how early it is. And I think if we keep with those core values to help, to educate, to build community, to solve problems, then the future for us will look the best it's ever been because it will make the world a better place. So for us, we've never been more excited to deploy capital. Uh, we're more than happy to do so. And um, I think history uh, will be kind to us when we look back at this in the next 10 years. Um, so thank you all very much. Thank you very much again. Appreciate your time. Okay. Nice.